Say goodbye to Sinead and cast it off the fuel dock. And uh, yeah, Martinique, 2,200 miles this way. Uh, let's see what it brings. I'm super excited, I'm super nervous, and I don't know, uh, yeah. <laughs> so much things going on in my mind right now. But first of all, get the fenders in, get the sails up, and uh, see where we stand. This is one of the most exciting times in my entire life, and I'm very, very, very emotional about it. So yeah, get settled. Here we go. Bye bye Mandelo, bye bye Cape Verde. Sails up, fully reefed because it is gusty between these two islands. And uh, finally saying goodbye to Mandelo. Engine is off. Yeah, just my mind is whirring with a million different things and all, all mostly positive, a little bit of apprehension in the back of it, but like I've done, I've done this before, so. Well, I haven't. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, uh, I've sailed before, so it's just sailing times longer. Yeah. What can I say? Exciting. Yeah, really quite windy now, and my decision to stay reef down fully as uh, it's paying dividends. This is just a very windy, uh, windy channel between the islands. Mandela really disappearing behind me now. A couple of more sails on the horizon. It's a uh, very Common day to go, December 1st, something round about it, and uh, yeah, everybody seems to want to be on the underway today. I've just had my I am sailing across the Atlantic single handed moment where it, it sort of sunk in, um, which is really nice. Like some, when you're, you tell yourself you're going to do something for so long that it becomes almost mundane, that like, you know, you just, you're almost on autopilot through the, the process of, of getting as far as the start line of something like this and then it doesn't sink in that you're, that you're really doing something that you've uh, yeah, wanted and, and dreamed about for a long time, so um, and that first little, little wave of this is absolutely amazing, I can't believe this is happening, I can't believe I'm here on my own boat sailing across the Atlantic on my own. It's the first of hopefully many sunsets at sea and it's an absolutely beautiful one in this passage to Martinique. Fill it on the uh, on the pan. Should be pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Not sure if that rainbow will come out, but it uh, tells you all, you all you need to know about the weather at the minute. It is uh, coming up to 48 hours. We're just yeah, just before nine o'clock on my second day, and uh, yeah, mixed bag. It's not bad now, but last night. Um, there were some very, very big squalls. There was lots of rain, which I'm not used to after Cape Verde and the Canaries. Um, it didn't actually get significantly windier, but I had to reef in the rain um, at about half four in the morning and got completely drenched. Uh, yeah, I got a bit more sleep last night, so I'm feeling fine today. Not, not great, but not terrible either. Here's the progress from our first two days uh, out of Mindelo. Uh, 130 miles the first day and 129 the second day, which is two really, really good days to start. Um, and the conditions have been pretty pleasant, not too much waves, always, well, the exception of a couple of cams, uh, plenty, plenty wind. So, going to continue south, or west, southwest, um, for another five or six hundred miles um, before turning towards the Caribbean and the reason for that is a lot of slack wind around the rum line between uh, uh, Mindelo and Martinique over the next week or so so I'm hoping that by going south we'll get uh, slightly uh, better wind conditions. Day 3 morning and it's beautiful and uh, yeah I think I'm going to have my first sunny day in a while. I think maybe the first day was sunny, but it feels like a long time ago now. And uh, yeah, the wind's not very strong. It's like eight or nine knots, but 
that's what was forecast and we're moving along nicely there's very 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 little waves or swell or anything so um yeah i'm hoping for a nice sunny day I'll get a bit of a shower in wash the decks um I'm starting to feel yeah like i'm kind of settling into it a bit uh slept pretty well last night um from about midnight till about half four or five of in 25 minute intervals i was i was sleeping fairly solidly hard to believe that i'm 350 miles out in the atlantic it's very very little swell very little breeze we're going along at about three and a half four knots which is fine on such a beautiful day the whole passage was like this and it took me 23, 24, 25 days, I wouldn't mind. It's so peaceful, so nice. Just feel really at home on the boat. The sky on the opposite side to the sunset is uh, really a lovely shade of pink. So now the sea has gone this kind of pinkish colour as well, which is really stunning. Morning time, day four, Atlantic crossing. Beautiful, beautiful morning. And as you can see, pretty flat, pretty flattish conditions. Sails are barely filling. Very light winds um, have been for the last 14, 15, 16 hours, really since yesterday afternoon. For between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. we made six miles, which in three hours is, uh, yeah, it's pretty slow. Um, my total for the day is gonna be probably in the region of 60 miles, maybe, maybe 70, depending on what the wind does between now and midday. Um, but that's all fine because there's no waves, or there's virtually no waves, so like we're not slopping around the place. Um, it's actually extremely pleasant, so I had a pretty good night's sleep. Um, so yeah, has a ooh, has an encouraging feel about the day, and there's loads of seabirds around. Still not a great amount of wind, but we're starting to pick up a bit of speed. Having myself a bit bonkers today after. Um, about close to 24 hours, very little wind and just sort of bobbing around the place and hearing uh, from Sinead that uh, some of that we know basically just went directly south to 12 degrees north and is going, you know, west from there in good wind. So I thought I'm just going due south from here, even though it means, you know, an extra couple of hundred miles sailed overall. Um, and I thought I'll just I'll go to sleep for a while and, and think on it when I wake up. And I've woken up to much better wind, so I'm glad I, I held out rather than, you know, stick to the plan at this stage, I think, rather than making a snap decision and adding potentially, you know, three or four hundred miles onto the journey for no real guarantee of better wind once I get down there. Um, but it's it's very easy to let yourself, like I was loving this morning, absolutely loving it, even with very little wind. Um, but it's very easy to just let yourself have a moment where you think, like, I need to do something here, I need to change something need to go faster i've been drifting around for too long so yeah patience patience i'll definitely teach you that so um day five um the wind has not filled in like i was hoping it would and it's very 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 frustrating trying to decide what to do yeah this is this is the tough <laughs> the tough day uh I think I'm just going to let her bob a while and go to sleep for a little bit and hopefully either I'm struck with inspiration or the wind will fill in. I mean, as I'm talking to myself, I just need to relax and and accept that this is all part and parcel of it. Yeah, just relax, go to sleep and don't stress. And also right now, we're actually starting to sail a little bit, which is nice. Um, but how long, how long will it last? Not long, based on prior experience today. Um, yeah, it's almost in the right direction as well, so... Anyway. <sighs> a little moan 
at the universe and things have gotten better. It's gotten a bit windier and uh, the angle has, has gotten a little bit better as well. So I'm broad reaching now and heading roughly the direction I want to be going. Uh, so feeling much more philosophical about things now. Um, I'm heading in yeah, roughly the right direction at 2.7, 2.83 knots kind of speed. Um, and the temptation to, to turn the engine on has passed. Um, I think I'd rather save my fuel for you know what is likely to be a few like dead calm days later on, you know. Apart from that, I had a couple of naps earlier and felt much better after them. I think like this, the way I'm feeling about it is is not um, it's not rational, you know. This, this exhaustion um, built up there over the last couple of days, even though I've been, I think I've been sleeping okay, but just definitely notice I'm more emotional about uh, things that will be relatively straightforward decisions um, so I'll try and get a bit more sleep tonight um, so yeah mood swings I guess is the, the synopsis of today it's all part of crossing a big ocean and this is a big ocean I've got about 1,745 miles left to go on my planned route, um, which I'm sticking to more or less. Um, I've done about 460-ish miles. So sometime tomorrow I'll probably be about a quarter of the way through, assuming, assuming I manage to make this sort of progress for the next 24 hours. Um, and that's, that's not nothing. It's half of half. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful sunset again. Just have to do the wind dance and uh, feels like it is picking up a bit there now. Not so bad being out here. Not so bad at all. The wind's just filled in from the absolute perfect direction to accompany this beautiful sunset. Um, so, yeah, that's it now. We'll sail perfectly till morning time without me having to do a thing and eat up the miles and start start getting onto the middle portion of this. I'm ready for the beginning of this passage to be over. Tomorrow should see the quarter way mark. Maybe. And then we'll start to get a feeling for how I'm settling into it all. There's something really, really satisfying about chasing the sun going west. So, um, dawn on day five. There's more wind than there was yesterday. Uh, hopefully that stays up. Um, yeah, we're moving, we're moving. Um, I resolved to be positive about everything today. Uh, yesterday I got into a bit of a negative headspace towards the end of the day. But, um, but yeah, we're moving. There'll be light winds ahead, but there'll be stronger winds ahead as well. And there'll be days when I'll be doing the 120, 130 miles again. I just have to, to remember that uh, that's the nature of an Atlantic crossing, um, is that there will be calm days, there'll be windy days. Um, and in between days, which is what this one feels like. I slept longer last night a few times the alarm went off and I didn't reset it properly just due to exhaustion so I ended up sleeping for two or three hours at a time for the first time on the passage um, and I feel safe enough doing that there's nothing around like I haven't seen any big ships full stop since leaving Mindelo uh, fluggy fluggy it's frustrating because obviously I don't want my sails flogging like that but we're moving along at three knots so it kind of <laughs> to roll them away would be kind of madness, you know, they, I just need to accept that they will flog. Um, yeah, another, another beautiful sunrise. It's been, it's been a good passage for sunrises and sunsets. Um, I think, I don't think there's been one that hasn't been spectacular. So I don't know if these big patches of weed are the sargasso that you hear so much about, but 
there's an ever increasing number of them as I get across the Atlantic. First started spotting them just maybe 100 miles north of Cape Verde and they've been sort of ever present since then but usually in small clumps like these ones but now I'm starting to see bigger bigger patches in the arse with a fishing hook. My god it is such a wonderful feeling to be sailing near five knots again. Um, so, uh, Sinead has been in touch with um, Reese from uh, Sailing Zora, Sailing Out Zora. Um, he's got a YouTube channel as well, and he, um, I met him in Rubicon in Lanzarote, and he very, very kindly offered to uh, to do weather routing for me. Um, and Sinead contacted him there because I'm a bit uncertain as to what to do next in this kind of situation. So. Um, I think the conclusion is that I, my initial plan was to go down to 12 degrees north, which is two or three hundred miles south of here. Um, but the conclusion is that by the time I get there, the wind will be the same down there as it is closer to here, around 14 degrees north, which is you know 30 or 40 miles further south than here. So, plan is just to continue on this track to 14 degrees and turn then for uh, Martinique, which will be a lot less, well, it's not a huge amount of sailing distance saved because of the angles, um, it's only 50 miles, but it's still, it's not nothing and uh, there's no point in sailing those extra 50 miles um, only to be stuck in, in fairly calm wind anyway. So, that's all good and thank you very much Reese, for the uh, for the routing. And um, yeah, just delighted that we're moving. Had a nice clip.